All right, in this video, I want to help you figure out should you be taking a multivitamin? Now, as a pharmacist, I'm asked this question a lot in the past. It used to be a blanket yes answer. Then I changed to a blanket no answer. Over time, I figured out some criteria and some questions that you need to ask yourself to help make the best decision for you. So I want to walk through those. First of all, TRN, you have to be tracking your nutrients. If you're not measuring what you're getting in your diet, you have no way of knowing if you need a multivitamin or an individual nutrient. So we have to figure these things out because part of the problem is we know from studies that the vast majority of people are deficient in certain nutrients. It's estimated, for example, that pretty much 100% of people don't get enough potassium. 94% uh, don't get enough vitamin D, 92% don't get enough choline. So if we look at these numbers and you, you take that just at face value and go, well, I need a multivitamin because I'm not getting enough of these things. I can tell you right now from tracking my nutrients that none of these are issues for me. Now, there are other nutrients I need to work on, but that right off the bat tells me a multivitamin may not be the best thing for me because I know the nutrients that I'm getting in my diet. So that's step one. Uh, you can use a number of different tools to do that. There are apps that do it. Just track and measure your food for a while. That will give you that idea of how you're doing. The next thing is we need to take the RDA allowances, the recommended daily allowances that the government provides us. You have to take those with a grain of salt. First of all, they were designed to set amounts that help you not get nutrient deficiencies. That doesn't mean the amounts are set to give you optimal health. For example, magnesium, I think for men is set at 420 milligrams. I personally think it should be higher for most people. So don't use the RDAs as the be all and end all. They are helpful in the beginning, but don't just strictly rely on RDA. The next thing you need to think about is if you're looking at a multivitamin, if you think you need one, you have to be thinking about the concentrations of the nutrients. You also have to be thinking about um, how these nutrients work together. For example, um, we know that magnesium has a very strong connection with vitamin D. They are required for each other to work optimally. Calcium metabolism requires vitamin K2. Uh, the role between copper, iron, and zinc is very tight. If you start getting too much of one of those, it can throw the other ones off. For example, if you're getting plenty of copper in your diet and you take a multivitamin with copper, you may see zinc levels go off the rails. Uh, if you're taking a multivitamin with too much iodine in it, um, people with healthy thyroids who supplement with iodine can actually get symptoms of low thyroid. So there's problems with just willy-nilly throwing a multivitamin at it and not understanding where you're at and what you're getting in the current multivitamin. Another thing to think about is you can measure some of these nutrients in your body. Now where people go wrong is they tend to rely on blood tests, but that's not always accurate. For example, with magnesium, we don't really store much magnesium in our blood. It's going to be stored in your tissue. So one of the workarounds for this is instead of a blood test, maybe think about getting a HTMA, which is a hair tissue mineral analysis, something along those lines. I'll put a link in the description to some of these things. Uh, you can go check out, get those tests, uh, and that might be helpful for you. Finally, and well, actually not finally, we got a couple more, but you have to take into account when you're taking a multivitamin, these are artificial nutrients, okay? They're not what you would get from whole food. For example, a good, a good example, and I've done videos on this, is retinol versus beta carotene. So these, this is our vitamin A. A lot of people will supplement with beta carotene, which is the plant-based form and the one you're going to find in multivitamins. The problem is if you don't have the right nutrients on board. For example, if your thyroid function is not good, if your metabolism isn't good, you're not going to uh, absorb much of this at all. And you're going to have difficulty converting it to the active form of vitamin A. So ideally, you know, when you're taking synthetic vitamins, there are some big downsides to doing that. Finally, how do you feel? 
Okay, I, I know that sounds kind of silly, but if you're, most people, if they have a little bit of anxiety or insomnia, sometimes constipation, it almost tells me right off the bat, they're probably low in magnesium. I don't know for sure, but it's some of the symptoms that you may have right now can kind of tell you about your nutrient balance. So the big takeaway here is there's no right or wrong answer to a multivitamin. It is individualized for you. It's going to be different for you than it is for me. Now, one thing to keep about, what can you do about this? There's, there's two simple things. Okay. First of all, you have to move to a whole foods diet. Okay. Because a whole foods diet, for example, if you're consuming grass fed beef liver, it is loaded with nutrients that work together in the right amounts. Um, doesn't mean you have to do that, but it's a great food. Uh, a lot of these foods I've mentioned in my other videos, uh, the grass fed beefs, the, the butters, the organ meats, bone broth, uh, ripe fruits, um, potatoes. You'd be surprised how loaded potatoes are with nutrients. Um, the same thing goes for some of the other fats, the butter, the ghee, tallow, those sorts of things. Those are great foods to be eating. Just think of the Pareto principle, which is 80% of the time you eat whole foods, shoot for 90%. And then you can kind of splurge on some other things if you want to. And I want to come back to the second thing. So whole foods, move to that. And then once you've done that for a while, begin measuring your foods and you will have a very good picture of nutrients you're deficient in. And if there's not a lot of them, then a multivitamin is probably not going to make a ton of sense. You may want to supplement with an individual vitamin or mineral. Uh, but if you find you're deficient in a fair amount, it may make sense to get a multivitamin. So I hope that this video kind of clarifies there is no right or wrong answer to this. You have to look at your situation and evaluate it. So I uh, hope this was helpful. You guys, other topics that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Also, talk about this stuff a lot more on my email list. If you're looking to get away from drugs and surgery, go grab my free checklist at my website. And I share 11 of those that I've found to be very helpful for people. So see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.